think you know me? No, no. You think you know me? No, no. You think you know me? No, no. You never know me. Let me tell you my story. I'm the mystery, and my story's a mystery too. King and a princess, I didn't trust a rule and reign. One of the king, no, I'm the seed of Papa Abraham. Blessing learned to from the crown of my head to the toe. No mountain high, no valley low, yeah. For the Holy Ghost has made me able to do all things. I'm a liar, roaring, gay, king of the world. Stay in my way, my bulldozer. the holy ghost man i love that song and it's just making my night uh, ladies and gents that is holy ghost by Iminaizo, whom we're gonna see later on tonight uh, thank you so much for those who are tuning in uh, both on our radio platform and also those who are tuning in on our live facebook uh, you can see that i'm not by myself this night i'm joined in by fantastic ladies who you're gonna hear in just a few uh, in fact um i'm just gonna introduce them uh hi lerato how are you um, um, I'd like to thank my president, Pastor Chris, my zonal pastor, Pastor Favor, and my group pastor, Pastor Bubusi, and my teens pastor, Pastor Nomaja. Um, I'm Sister Lerato from CEPE One's Teens Church. Awesome. Hi, Hi everyone. Um, hello, Brother John. Um, I would first like to thank my president, Pastor Chris, my zonal pastor, Pastor Favor, and my group pastor, Pastor Bubusi, and of course, our teens pastor, Pastor Nomantla. I'm Sister Kulufelo from CEPE1. Awesome. Ladies and gents, you can hear them. They are excited and they are ready to have an incredible conversation with you. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, this is the Tvolution Nation show. And uh, we're going to look at what it is right now. So Christ Embassy Teens Ministry is a global ministry founded by Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome, specifically designed for young people. Teens Ministry equips young people with the Word of God so that they may grow in knowing and understanding God's Word, which helps them to be able to stand and deal with day-to-day -day challenges with wisdom. This ministry has impacted young people all around the world, producing future leaders who are already doing extraordinary things and massive projects in their respective countries and are with success through the use of Messenger Angel called a daily sorry a daily evolution book called tivo which is bible simplified by pastor chris ladies and gents you're about to get uh you know what uh challenged you're about to get educated you are you're about to get informed in the word of god awesome it's great to have you guys thank you so much for joining me so i want to find out uh tonight what are we looking at what's the topic for tonight um thank you so much our TiVo topic for today is working with Jesus, meaning join in the Lord's vineyard. Before um, I read, I would just like to give a brief explanation on what this TiVo is and about. Awesome. Um, the TiVo is a daily devotional book written by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. It's a simplified Bible which makes it easier for teens to understand the Word of God. It has impacted many young lives. It's a way to feed your spirit daily. To the Bible, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 1. As God's fellow workers, we urge you to not receive God's grace in vain. Let's talk. Ever read where the Bible says, 
The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Jesus made this statement in reference to soul winning. As he saw his disciples returning from an evangelical trip, this reveals that he doesn't want to reach the world by himself or work independently from his kids. He wants you and me to work together with him. The responsibility is simple. Tell other people about your Lord Jesus Christ and how good he's been to you. Read about the woman with the hemorrhage who was healed by the master and you'd observe that she almost ran away after receiving her miracle because she was so scared of being noticed. However, Jesus wanted her to testify of her healing so it would remain and so others could hear and have faith as well. Something similar happened earlier when Jesus healed the demon-possessed man at Gadara. This man, being restored to his senses and so happy, wanted to follow Jesus. I'll hand over to um, Sister Lerato. Um, thank you, Sister Kulifel. Um, well, we are still reading. You'd think the master would have been thrilled to increase his number of his disciples. Yet he told him to go back to his friends and relatives to tell them what had happened to him. So the man went on to be a preacher in the Decapolis. That's the principle of the word of God. God needs you in his vineyard. He wants you to proclaim what he's done for you. Amen. And share his love and goodness with those in your sphere of contact. Mm. He always desires to work with and through you. This was why he made you in the first place to have dominion Amen. over his estate and mm. to act in his place and do the things he would do. So make yourself available for him to use you today. Amen. Amen. Our scriptures to go deeper comes from um, the book of Mark 5 verse 1 to 20 and chapter 25 to 34 and Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. And can uh, you bow our heads now as we take the prayer and follow after me. Dear Father, Dear Father I thank you, I thank you for, enabling me for enabling me to preach the gospel to, preach the gospel to, my, world. to my world. I join, I join in, the great commission in the Great Commission of reaping of reaping the ripe harvest, the ripe harvest of the world, of the world today. today. Thank you, thank you for making this truth, for making this truth my prime focus, my prime focus continually, continually in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Our daily reading um, Bible plan is from for one year is from John, John verse five to verse thirty one to forty seven, and First Kings seven to eight. And for our two-year reading plan, it's from Mark 9, verse 30 to 37, and Numbers chapter 14. And our act for today is to spend time to pray about those you will tell about Jesus, that they will respond positively to the message. Amen. 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 Absolutely. Thank you. That's absolutely fantastic reading. I like today's topic, you know, which actually says working with Jesus, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, it's got a subtitle, which is called Join in the Lord's Vineyard. So we're talking about work, right? Yeah. Well, I want to find out from you guys, what work have we been called to? And what does this mean to you? Um, um, to answer, well, to answer the question, I will simply say, at the beginning of the year, our man of God, Pastor Chris, gave us the Rema word that 2022 is the year of gathering clouds. So as the believers, we are gathering others, preparing them for the coming of the Lord, yeah. that at the sound of the trumpet, they may not miss the first flight mm. as Jesus will be taking his church with without spots to heaven you know brother John we mm. are at the last hour mm. this time is very short Jesus is coming soon mm -hmm. and the Bible in Mark 16 verse 15 let me read it for you guys amen So it says, He that believeth 
and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Hmm. Wow. So, that's the work we are called out to. Reaching every house, every city, and every school. I mean the entire world, the whole world. Telling them about Jesus who saves. So, Brother John, mm. this is my calling mm. as a child of God, mm. and I shall mm. fulfill it with joy. Wow. Praise Absolutely. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Indeed. You know, like you said, you know, uh, you know, we're called to evangelize basically to the whole world. This is an incredible work. Mm, you know, it's, yes. it's, it's a lot of work. The world is, is big. It's massive. And we have like about 8 billion plus people, you know, living in the world today. I'm absolutely stoked. And you said, you know what? You said that, you know, we, we work with joy. This incredible work that God has called us. Well, considering the parable of the servants and the talents, that it comes from the book of Matthew 24, verse 15, 14 to 30, I want to find out what should our attitude towards this work that we called to be. I will take this one, Sister Lerato. Oh, Thank okay. you, Brother John. Well, if you read this passage in the Bible, you'll learn that the master gave talents to his servants mm. for them to invest for more gain. Mind you, Brother John, these are his servants, which he knew very well. Hence, the Bible tells us that he gave them talents according to their abilities, mm. meaning he believed and trusted them with mm. gain. Mm. The Bible tells us of the two who went and made profit from the talent given to them. But the other one dug a hole in the ground mm. and hid the talent. Hey, he made no profit of what was given to him. Imagine, instead it was a loss. Mm. Chai, mm. Brother John, as a child of God with the message of the gospel in us, we have to multiply ourselves by winning more souls to the kingdom. Mm. More teenagers. I'm talking about winning more Davids of our time, Brother John. Mm. More Davids of our time. Amen. We shouldn't hide or keep the message to ourselves. No, that's selfishness. Mm. The gospel is for the world, for the world to be saved. We can't keep quiet. We have to tell the untold chai it's like fire shot to my bones i cannot keep quiet i can't keep quiet hallelujah yeah. amen i like that chai you know the fire you know that we are eager and zealous to do this incredible uh work of god you know as you said you know uh god is the greatest investor yes. and he knows everyone's ability so he gives you know the gifts and talents according to each one's ability so you know what this is also an incredible encouragement to somebody listening mm -hmm. to us out there you have a gift that yes. god has given you and god has entrusted it uh, to you i love you know the comments that are flowing through you know what guys keep it going uh, i love what is happening and the interaction on facebook thank you so much we really appreciate that well we go to the next question that actually says you know according to john chapter 15 and verse 5 to 11 we are exhorted or encouraged to bear much fruit. Mm. What do you think fruitfulness in the kingdom of God looks like? What are some things in our lives that might be hindering this fruitfulness? Okay, Sister Kulifilo, I'm taking this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jesus mm. is the vine. And as believers, we are the branches. Mm. That means we are his extension mm. to produce more fruit. Mm -hmm. Jesus died and saved us. We now have life in abundance. Amen. He reached for us when we were lost without any direction mm. and mm. gave our lives a meaning. Today, we are called children of God. So as the branches connected to him, we are expected to produce fruits by telling everyone, mm. everyone about the love and mm. mercy of Jesus. As the branches, we have to be full of fruits, mm. which are souls, to present to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you read in Matthew chapter 25, verse 23, talking of the ones who multiplied their talents given to them, mm -hmm. he said, Well done, good and faithful servants. You have been mm -hmm. faithful over a few things. Mm -hmm. I will make mm -hmm. you the rulers over many things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Chai. <laughs> I like that again, man. You, see, you know, you said something, a very important word, I think, you know, it's just absolutely amazing. Faithfulness. You know, good, well done, good and faithful. Mm -hmm. 
servant. You know, that actually underscores, you know, the fruitfulness that we see in the word of God. God is really pleased when we are fruitful, when we are producing, when we are yeah. thriving. You know, he's absolutely excited. I, I can imagine, you know, him just like the excitement, like that's my child. You know, I'm absolutely excited uh, right now. So uh, I want to find out now, talking about fruitfulness, what word of encouragement you know, would you give to someone who has been in ministry for a long time, okay, but has not seen much fruit? We understand that sometimes things are, you know, tough, you know, some things don't respond, you know, to mm -hmm. the way we actually go out yes. there. But what word of encouragement would you give to somebody listening to us right now? Well, encouraging someone who has been in a ministry for a long time but mm. has not seen fruit. I would say, as the Bible says in Matthew 6, verse 33. Let me read it. Mm. Amen. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and, he shall, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Mm. Amen. This mm. means for you to see fruits in your life, spiritually and materially, you need to take care of God's business by mm. actively, by being actively involved in his activities, mm. examples, evangelizing and winning souls. Then God is the one who shall make you fruitful because he knows all that you need. Lastly, God is not late nor early, but always on time. Can I say that again, mm. Brother mm. John? Mm. God is not late, mm. not early, but mm. always on time. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. 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 Man, that's absolutely an incredible encouragement right there. You know, because sometimes, you know, like, show years and years have passed, you know, like, and you think, wow, Lord, when am I going to see this? As you said, yeah, yeah. God is always on always time. Always on Somebody time. out there right now, this is a word for you. Catch it. Uh, God is always on time. He knows uh, times and seasons for everything under the sky. Amen. Well, um, we, we want to look, um, you know, at an incredible uh, phase in, in, in this journey. In the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 12, okay, Jesus says, Behold, I am coming soon, and my reward is with me, uh, to give to each one according to what he has done. Well, I want to find out, what does this mean to you? Brother John, the master will do review. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, he will do review of what each of us has done mm. with the message given to us. Mm -hmm. The good works you have done shall testify on your behalf. As your name is called multitudes, multitudes of souls you have won will be behind you mm. and you will be ushered ushered mm. into the kingdom, mm. into the joy mm. of the Lord. Mm. So, mm. Brother John, there's joy in heaven when we bear souls mm. as fruits. Amen. Wow. Amen to that. Amen to mm. that. In fact, like I think uh, there's, there's a portion in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, that says, you know what, those that win many souls to the kingdom of God are going to be like the stars shining forever. Man, I want to be like a star, man. I don't know about you guys. I want to shine, you know, forever in the presence yeah, uh, of the Lord. Well, uh, ladies and gents, I'm so excited and uh, uh, about tonight. We want to encourage you uh, to join wherever you are listening to us right now. You know, join in the army. You know, we, the Bible says we're surrounded with such a massive cloud of witnesses. You know, people who've gone ahead of us and done ex mighty exploits. Well, Jesus says... That the work that God has for us to do is to believe in him, that is Jesus. Then the people he was speaking to, they inquired, what must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus replied, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. That comes from the book of John 6 verse 28 to 29. Now talking about believing, what does faith have to do with works? Uh, thank you, Brother John. Hebrews 11, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Let me read it. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them, that, delightly seek, that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. 
anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Mm. When doing God's work, you put him first. You Amen. stop living for yourself, mm. but Amen. living for God, seeking to do his will and his desires, mm. making sure that they are fulfilled. Mm. You see, Brother John, mm. the most important thing we must know is God depends on us for him to do his legs, his arms, and his voice. Amen. In Jeremiah 51 verse 20, it says, You are my battle acts and my weapon of war mm. with you i will break nations mm. with you i will destroy kingdoms Amen. we are god's battle acts we are his weapon to fight and defeat the devil mm. yes as young as we are first timothy 4 verse 12 says don't look down on you because you are young can i say that again Amen. do not look down on yourself because you are young Amen. by the way we are not young mm. we are spirit beings and spirit has no age mm. praise god God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I like that, you know, uh, point. You know, I'm always taking this incredible point that you guys are saying out there. You said that God depends on us. Mm -hmm. That is powerful. That's a thought, you know, uh, you know, just boggles my mind. And I believe that, you know, it boggles the minds of our listeners right now. You know, wherever you are, listen to this, that God actually depends on you. He's called you into his vineyard mm -hmm. as a laborer. Yes. So go out there and get working for the kingdom of God. As you heard, you know, Jesus has an incredible reward, you know, for you out there. Well, I'm so uh, blessed. Uh, thank you so much for these incredible words. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a quick break, you know, right now. You know, I believe, you know, what you guys are, you know, just giving us, you know, fire, you know. So we want to just digest what you've said. Our listeners, you know, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, drop those comments. If you have any questions, drop it out on the comment section. We're going to return to it shortly after the break. Let's listen to the song titled My Rock by Iminizo. God richly bless you. We're going to be right back. Don't you touch that dial. Yeah. 
Amen. Ah, Jesus Christ is alive in me. I love that song. The song is actually called My Rock. And do you believe, guys, it was written by the uh, gentleman, you know, seated opposite of me? Hi, Iminaizo. How are you? Hi, Brad John. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Uh, so, well, um, I'm very excited. I'm actually thrilled. I can't believe it that you wrote and performed this song. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Yeah. Wow, absolutely. This is a challenge out there, man. It just makes me want to go out there, you know, just jump into a studio somewhere and <laughs> get something going, man. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. This is a blessing to so many people out there. And um, guys, we are having a fantastic conversation right now with Iminaizo Buka. He is the writer and actually the, the, the artist behind, the brains, the, the art behind this incredible song. And we are very proud of you. We are very proud of you uh, so when did you start your musical journey what inspired you well I can say my musical journey started in 2018 mm -hmm. I think music is in the family because my dad can sing mm. and he wants us to sing too <laughs> I remember how it started mm. it was me and my brother just sitting in the lounge then my dad came and told us to rap just a few lines mm. He realized that I can rap. Mm. Then every time he would ask me to throw some lines. And that led me to write my first song, mm. Jesus is my rock. Mm. <laughs> the only instrument that inspires me to sing is a rhapsody of rea realities, mm. early reader, which is daily devotional book full of the word of God. Mm absolutely fantastic guys you know you're just gonna have to you know give a hand you know for this incredible young man and he's inspired you know uh you know what as you said you know by this incredible word of god you know to write messages out there for young people similar age older every generation literally you know to hear the word of god i want to find out how has your musical journey been so far you said you started in 2018 right yeah. how has it been so far so far, it's so nice. In a way, it has helped me to study the Word of God every day. Musically, there's not much action because my focus is more on school activities. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. As he said, you know what, uh, he, he has just been having a lot of fun. You know, it's always fun, you know, to do something that you love mm. and for the kingdom of God. So we want to inspire you guys out there. If you've got some art, if you've got uh, something that will bless somebody's, you know, soul, please do it. Uh, well, what kind of an artist would you consider yourself, do you consider yourself to be? What kind of an artist are you? Well, because of my dad's wise words, I will not call myself an artist. Rather, yeah. <laughs> I call myself a minister. Wow. Ministering the word of God through my music, mm -hmm. telling the whole world about the love of Jesus. Mm, absolutely. You know what? That is, uh, that is a, it's, we call a paradigm shift. Mm. You know, it changes everything. You know, your approach, you know, out there to just, you know what, uh, make yourself, you know, good. But you are there to lift the name of Jesus and to actually bless people. Guys, you hearing it? This is a challenge out there for many of us who are in the music industry, especially Christian artists out there, you know, is about Jesus. Well, you recently produced um, and released two songs by the the name of my rock and holy ghost well briefly describe them to us yeah so far two songs are out there for listeners mm. one of them is jesus is my rock indeed he is my rock mm. my dwelling place mm. and my hiding place wow. and he and in him alone i stand jesus is the solid rock to mm. build your future on mm. the second track titled full of the holy ghost this song defines who i am mm -hmm. that the holy ghost has made me able to do all things that means i can never fail or lose but i win always as the bible says no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper mm -hmm. but the greater one is in me Wow, hallelujah to that. Holy Ghost. You know what? The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Guys, I'm so inspired and I, I believe so are you. What impact do you desire, you know, to have on your listeners? I know you have a lot of listeners, you know, far and wide, old 
and young as well. What impact do you want to have on them? Like I said, Brother John, mm. I'm a minister or a preacher mm. preaching the word of God to the old and young. And I believe many will be won to mm. the kingdom of Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. Many indeed will be won to the kingdom of Jesus. Guys, if you hear the lyrics of this song, uh, man, it just, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a statement out there. And I want you guys to be encouraged. What do you see in the future, Eminizo? Hey, that's a good question. Mm. I see myself traveling all around the world, sharing the love of Jesus with my music until rapture of the church. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is incredible. I'm so, 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 so loving uh, this right now. Guys, I believe uh, it's a challenge out there uh, for all of us, you know, who are tuned in right now uh i thank you so much for those comments we're gonna you know take a quick break once again uh don't forget you know what he says he is a minister you know what he is a preacher you know it's just a different form of preaching it's in you know what in lyrics in melody and in song thank you so much Eminizer, for coming uh, God richly bless you and may you have a pros prosperous future. I know your dad is behind you. We are behind you and God is going to make your future indeed prosperous. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Guys, we're going to listen to Ululwa Yini by Vestlight. Don't you touch this dial. We're going to be right back. <laughs> Artist Ushuluayini by Vestlight, uh, an incredible artist as well. Uh, man, guys, we having we're spoiled tonight. We literally are spoiled for choice. This is a blessing uh, for us tonight. And uh, ladies and gents, don't you touch the dial because we've got an incredible performance. You know what? In just a few. So I'm. Um, back you know uh, online with the two incredible ladies uh, who fired up a night our night already and i believe that we we want to end this night with a bang okay <laughs> guys ready for that we want to end this with a bang okay so guys um we we were talking about the work that jesus uh, that you know uh, god has called us you know to do uh, mm -hmm. we are you know what laborers in the lord's vineyard working with jesus and we you've encouraged people out there mm -hmm. you know uh, that you know what they should have an attitude of joy they should go in with passion and zeal now i want to find out what about the people or, or people when they feel they can earn the kind of people okay who feel they can earn God's favor by working. What do you think of that? Um, okay. 
for that question, I would like to say um, it's possible to receive favor mm. from God when working for him. As long as your work mm. is consistent mm. with his will, with his will, mm. not work for note mm. Mm. or recognition mm. Mm. from anyone or by people. The Bible says God is not a respecter of men, mm. but he respects his will. Amen. That's why we cannot, even when our peers, I think you can agree with me, even mm. when our peers from school call us pastors, mm. mocking us. Mm. No, mm. we cannot mm. because we aren't doing it for them, Amen. but for God, mm. God's will. So whatever you do concerning his will, surely his favor is mm. upon you. Mm. As the Bible says in Matthew 6, verse 33. So in all these things, favor is added and grace is added. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm, I'm loving that. As you said, you know what? It always comes down, I think, to, to the attitude of our heart, the intentionalities, you know, that we do with this work. As you said quite clearly, we should not do it for recognition or any way. We should do it with a clean heart, diligently, you know, for the Lord. And then uh, I want to find out, um, you know, Colo Colo Fellow, um, how should our work and the Lord's work of salvation be related? Uh, thank you, Brother John. I would say our work and God and the Lord's salvation work do relate in this way. Mm. First, I must say I'm grateful to be in the ministry, I'm sure you are, I'm of Pastor Chris, because we are taught to practicalize the word of God into effect. Mm. Some of us as teens are owning businesses already. Mm. So with the money we make, we are able to push the gospel mm. so that it reaches everyone and every young person. Yes. Example, our teens daily devotional that we read needs financial partners and we need to sponsor Bibles to every young person. Mm. So, sir, in conclusion, the gospel may be free, but mm. it's not cheap. Mm. When mm. God opens doors of opportunities for us, it's also an opportunity to partner with him. Mm. Glory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, you know, you can say that again. You know, yeah. you know, the gospel is free, but it is not cheap. Free is not cheap. In, indeed, you know, we need to put in, you know what, a partner with the gospel. So wherever you are and you're listening to us right now, we want to, you know, encourage you. This is, as you said, practical to partner with the gospel you know whatever that you you know that you have to to give and to contribute ladies and gents we want to challenge you tonight thank you guys so much this is uh tonight's one has just been epic i am very very stoked uh do you uh do you have anything else that you'd like to share um, yes, I'd like to take the announcements for today. So I'd like to invite all our viewers, all our listeners to our Sunday service in Central. It starts at 9.30 to 11.45. So it's only an hour and 45 minutes. Mm. Uh, feel free to come and visit us. And we also have a J16 uh, program, which is on the 16th of um, June. And... Um, Oh, it's on the 17th of June. And mm. for more information, call or WhatsApp 074-939-2336. I'll say it again. 074-939-2336. Call that number. Dial it mm -hmm. uh, and, and get their ASAP. Thank you so much uh, for those uh, announcements. And guys, as I said, you know what? We have an incredible performance, you know, tonight. We're ending in style, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, for being with us. So we're just going to, you know, uh, ask Iminaizo to come in again. And he is going to perform real, okay, uh, for us, you know, uh, right now so that we can actually be blessed and enjoy it. Okay, sure. Sorry, Brother John. Yes, please. Um, uh, I would like to take the prayer of salvation. Oh, yes. Um, so if you have not received um, our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, um, please take this prayer after me. For everything that you have that we have talked about to come to pass in your life, you have to accept the Lord um, as your Lord and Savior. So mm -hmm. please repeat after me. Oh Lord God. Oh Lord God. 
I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. In Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. Son of the living God. I believe he died for me. I believe he died for me. And God raised him from and the dead. God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. Is the Lord of my life from this day. From this day. Through him, through him, and in his name, and in his name, I have eternal life. I have eternal life. I'm born again. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my life. For saving my life. I'm now a child of God. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Absolutely. As you said, you know what? Uh, one person to repent and to turn to the kingdom of God, all of heaven throws a party, and we're gonna have a party right here uh thank you so much ladies for being with us tonight
Awesome, man. That was Iminaizo. Thank you so much, Iminaizo, once again uh, for that incredible blessing. And you know what, guys, as we said, we want to end this show with a bang tonight. And I believe that is a banger. God re richly bless you guys. Uh, this is me signing off tonight. Uh, remember, dial that number uh, we, that, that we announced earlier on. Uh, God richly bless you. Let's end up this show with a song. Holy Ghost, God bless you. You think you know me? No, no. You think you know me? No, no. You think you know me? No, no. You never know me. Let me tell you my story. I'm the mystery, and my story's a mystery too. 